I'm uh, Simon Cox, I'm a third year PhD student and I'm also the centre's uh, PhD student coordinator. I mean, I, I think one of the most um, attractive things about doing a, um, a PhD with a centre is, is the kind of the multidis multidisciplinarity. So I'm a psychologist by my kind of trade, by my, my undergraduate degree, and yet um, I've been exposed to a lot of different methods that I otherwise probably wouldn't be exposed to, so I'm learning how to, um, how to analyse um, MR images, um, and I'm looking at um, endocrine aspects, endocrine functioning, and how to gauge that, that aspect as well, um, and combining that with, um, with neuropsychology and how you actually measure the function of different parts of the brain. So in terms of the, not just the expertise that you get through supervision from different areas, but also in terms of the, just the opportunity to learn different skills, it's a, it's a great place to be. Well, my, uh, my role is to, um, well, coordinate, I guess, the, um, the, the students that are part of the centre. Because it's very, you know, very diverse in terms of the types of people we have, you know, neurobiologists, uh, we have um, lots of, um, you know, medics, people who are interested in a variety of things. They're based at multiple different sites, and I think the one of the problems potentially is that you know you don't necessarily feel part of a part of anything cohesive if you're all based in different areas. But we're all working towards the same goal. We're all broadly looking at you know aging and different aspects of aging, cognitive aging specifically. And so trying to get everyone together and give them a platform for academic stuff, but also for socialising. Um, and you know you, you may well find that some collaborations arise out of the fact that you just meet at a pub and do a pub quiz with guys that you're, you know, you have something in common. Case in general, you know, it's looking at cognitive ageing and ageing comes to us all and I think specifically our, our cognitive abilities, uh, you know, keeping hold of our faculties for as long as possible is, you know, definitely a, a determinant of your quality of life and also your ability to live independently for as long as possible. And, you know, once you begin this, this kind of decline and how severely you decline um, is a really important question and particularly the thing that Case can do thanks to the, the generous time that's been donated by all of the individuals that are from the different cohorts that are involved, um, so the LBC 1956 and 1921 for example, um, is that we're actually able to, to examine in a lot of detail what things might potentially determine who declines, how fast they decline and why that might be.